at present. That's what's being explored. Can we, can we just tease that? Because there's a distinction between what is a policy issue and what is a value for money issue. And from a, could we just get a sense from the department? Because the policy issue yeah, about capability right. wise, where you're making a, a decision because of capability, the distinction that in terms of value for money, you're not understanding your costs. And, and could we just get your sense as to whether it's the department's view that these are legitimate policy issues or whether uh, it's an issue of value for money? The, the, the big policy issue is whether you want to have a carrier strike capability at all. Once you've decided to have a carrier strike capability, all the evidence that we have shows that the carrier variant, the changed type of aircraft on the carrier, is the best value for money, the most capable, it delivers us the best bangs for our buck. Changing from one to the other introduces some new risks. But it also takes, takes some risks out. Yeah. I, I, I think that was the point that we were trying to make. The thing is not kind of risk-free. At all times, we are managing risks. There were risks associated with the Stovall aircraft, which is a more complicated aircraft. Mm. We've switched to a less complicated aircraft and a more capable aircraft. So we've taken some risks out, but simply by switching, we've put some risks in. But then 18 months it, seems to us a perfectly normal uh, Length of time for us to bottom out those. Well, risks. are you? Con so well, can I get you back? Wasn't involved in this, though, was he? Because no, no. the CNAG is conflicted on this report. That's yeah. right, and yeah. it was agreed exactly. with the it was agreed uh, with the committee. Uh, so just have... how many drafts were there? Can I just clarify how many drafts of the report have there been submitted to the MOD? Well, I, I believe I received five in seven working days. Okay. Can I turn you to Para two twenty? We've been there. We've done that one, Stephen. Um, thank you. Could we just come back to the report and to page 16, paragraph 1.14? I was just struck by the, uh, the comment that the, uh, the carrier project has consistently exceeded the department's budgetary provision, uh, and then we've got a £312 million cost challenge. Um, are there any years where the budget and specification to date has not changed? The the cost has not changed since the um, MPR 10 uh, figures that we gave you. Which was? Five billion, I believe it was the MPR Apart from the cats and traps. Ah, apart. So if I come back to the original, is there any year to date that the budget and specification hasn't changed? I'm just trying to draw from past performance. Past performance isn't always an indicator of future performance, but... Um, is there any year to date where the budget and specification on this contract has not changed? It hasn't changed in the last year. It hasn't changed in the last year, apart from the policy question. decision to change uh, the, um, the nature of the capability on it. Question again, Stephen. Uh, well, I, what I'm trying to drive at is, is the element of 